Canada has a, a long history of cooperation with Jamaica, and one of the uh, the things that has been apparent over the years is that the justice system in Jamaica has a number of significant shortcomings, uh, either in terms of uh, outdated procedural rules, legislation that perhaps hasn't kept up with the times, the lack of modern IT and um, uh, other equipment infrastructure in the court system. And the, the end result of that is that the system seems to be having difficulty delivering the results, the outcomes that Jamaicans require from uh, a justice system. And in the face of that, uh, Jamaica's economic development, Jamaica's social development uh, seems to be uh, impaired. And so this was one of the important foundational uh, elements that uh, Canada, in cooperation with Jamaica, uh, has uh, understood to be behind some of the, the slow growth and the lack of investor confidence, perhaps, in, in the country. And so we felt it was a very important uh, initiative to undertake, uh, working with the Jamaican authorities to essentially modernize uh, their system of justice. We're starting to see the traction uh, developing now. Um, it'll be, I think, uh, several more years before we start to see the big metrics in terms of reduced court times, uh, you know, processing cases through uh, uh, you know, alternate dispute mediation and so on really start to, to appear, but th the groundwork has been laid and uh, we're comfortable that we're seeing the traction we need. The UNDP, of course, has uh, provided Canada, Jamaica and this project uh, with a significant uh, service. Uh, Justice Canada, which is the, the agency uh, in the Government of Canada that is providing the technical assistance uh, to the Ministry of Justice in Jamaica, can't establish a local presence here uh, and can't be therefore in a position to be responsible and accountable for the day-to-day -day, um, expenditures and so on. And so the UNDP has, has uh, stepped in in collaboration uh, with, the, with the High Commission here and Justice Canada and the Ministry to provide that, that accountability and transparency for this project and a lot of the local procurement in fact. Uh, without those services without those um, those supporting activities uh, we wouldn't be in a position to deliver in the way we're, we're delivering today. We still have uh, probably half the project uh, left to deliver. Uh, we're working uh, more intensively now on um, uh, training people in the justice system, be they judges, uh, the bar, uh, members of the, um, uh, uh, the, the Ministry of Justice policy units. Uh, that critical mass of, of training and, uh, and change is, uh, is what we're going to be pushing on in the next couple of years and I'm expecting to see really positive outcomes.